So today we're looking at some Batman miniature game, specifically in third edition. And this is the new rule book, which is amazing and excellent, full of great pictures, covers mostly everything. Sort of missing a couple of things though. So what it's missing and you'll notice this if you uh, want to run the Flash or one of the Justice League Darks, Magic and Speed Force. Alright, so that's what we're discussing today. So this is a little bit fanciful, a little bit uh, my own thoughts and since we've been exploring some areas recently with bringing some second edition Oh, and admittedly even some first edition into third so too we're looking at speed force and magic use in third edition on my um, patreon site which I'll have the details down below I've got a document that has how they work so when you if you wanted to have a look at that afterward and the magic and the spells so a lot of it is the conversion of the rules into third edition that sort of thing so what I was looking at for this was that um, in second edition when they introduced Speed Force and Magic they sort of they introduced it and they created their own phases for them so what I wanted to do was stick with the same phases that we had with third edition being the three main phases and I worked it out from there so what I have is that both the magic use and speed force are considered special action. So you use your special action in order to use magic or the speed force. Then once you've done that you've got your specific phases within each one. So if we look at speed force first. So what we have is you use your special action for the speed force and then it's broken into three parts still run with the speed force token concept which works quite well you gather speed force, drain speed force and then spend the tokens in order to use the speed force powers So for a fast combo, two successful hits, you gain an extra strike. Just using the rules that are currently in the compendium for third. But I still stuck with the hyper fast, two successful hits. Gives you two additional strikes rather than one for one. You still need to get the two. I thought that was still worth it. You collect your speed force tokens. Then we have the drain speed force phase if that's applicable. And then we spend the speed force tokens. And whatever you don't spend you get to keep for the next round. Of course you've still got the paradox. When you use the Speed Force, some powers can have a negative effect and if that comes up then the phase ends is how I've decided. Five plus, six plus, etc, etc. And then if you get a paradox. So using the special actions 
still means that if you don't have an Audacity token, you can still use some Speed Force, but primarily, usually you'll be having the um, Audacity tokens. And if you're someone like the Reverse Flash, who drains the for Speed Force, then you need to work out which order you're activating and not activating. Because if the flash activates first, takes the tokens, then you can drain the speed force and collect the tokens, etc. So there's a degree of uh, strategy in when you activate. For more in depth on how speed force works with magic or in magic works, I've got previous videos. Go into it and go through the books. Now for magic. So with magic, still a special action, but you have to spend an effort. Then that gets you your magic points. So yep, all magic comes at a price. So you cop the the stun to get your magic power points, and then you can cast spells. And do what you need to do. So speaking of effort, what I've also decided to do, sorry, just to bounce back, the speed force element has the fatigue rule, and I've decided that with zero effort, that's when you get the fatigue rule. So if, as long as you've got some effort. If you run out of effort, then that's it. You're fatigued. Whereas magic, or magic comes at a price, a physical cost. And away we go. There you go, cast your spell and so on. So it's just taking a magic test. Rolling 2d6 and adding your willpower. Same as before, and then you have difficulties. And if you fail, consequences. Also put up nearly all the spells for everybody. Just some of the individual spells I don't have up there. I'll put them up. I've got to put the stats up for the Black Flash as well. So, this is, as it says, in no way official, but if you've got a flash, any one of the berries, or kid flash, or you're going to be running with zoom or reverse flash, then you need to work out how you're going to be using speed force, and same too with the um, magic if you have one of the, the magic wielders in your party, you need to work it all out. And so you're either sharing that with your opponent to work out what's going to work and what's not going to work. In the second edition, Magic and Speed Force had their own phases, practically. It fell outside of the, the routine. I thought about that, but then how does that work with Audacity and so on? So my reasoning for using it as a special action I think is, is pretty sound. So. Yeah. So anyway, um, I've got the link up for my, my document that I've put together. Have a look, let me know. And what do you do? I mean, obviously once um, we have these unofficial rules, that's all good, but at this point, they're not official. It's a work it out between yourselves sort of thing, and I just think a little bit of consistency is required. In no way official, just one fan trying to make sense of a chaotic world. It's exactly right. All right, so that's 
so this is a quick one and entirely optional to watch because the others are so mandatory and as I said I'd like to know what everyone thinks I don't think we need a specific phase because that's just going to upset the whole audacity token scenario um, I th so that's but that's just me Cool, alrighty. Well, thanks for listening to this really, really quick one. Magic and Speed Force in third edition. And away we go. All right, let's keep the conversations going. Thanks for listening. Bye. Oh yeah, like and subscribe, etc., etc. You know the drill.